hello guys welcome to my youtube channel once again thanks for clicking on this video if you are new here please remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos without much ado let's get started okay we have art and illustration art and illustration we select the thousand pieces of resolution 300 so we quit we double click on this background layer to unlock it okay we head over to file place embedded and select this item click the check mark to confirm i'm going to convert this to a smart object okay ctrl t and i transform so we transform this click ok so i want to notify and copy this test right here grab my test tool I have the size as 8 ok and I paste click the check mark to confirm I grab my move tool ctrl A and I center horizontally I hold alt and drag to do alt and drag to duplicate this grab the text tool and edit to present click the check mark to confirm and I change the size to 6 head over to test properties and italize it grab my move to ctrl A and I center horizontal I align horizontally head over to notepad and copy all this text right here so I copy this I grab my test tool and I paste click the check mark to confirm this test is too tight up so closed up so I'm going to change the track the leading to auto so grab my test tool and highlight I can't click the check mark to confirm and I'm going to paste this okay so I uncheck italize I make it uppercase sorry I want to change this to uppercase rather the E will be smaller and the game will be a package okay alright this way click the check mark to confirm and I'm changing the size to 29 so I grab my move to ctrl A and I align horizontally in the middle drop it a bit so I'm going to add a layer style I have the gradient to value ok guys I already have my gradient set these are the hexa codes this is the second one ok so I click ok and I'm going to double click on this side of the layer and I'm going to add a stroke change this stroke to white and reduce the size I have the position at outside and I'm going to reduce the size to 4 click ok so I want to add another layer star a drop shadow ok so I have a drop shadow the angle at 90 the blend mode at multiply the opacity at 100 distance at 10 spread at 6 and I click OK so I grab my rectangle tool and draw a rectangle shape right here and I'm going to change the color for to black so we increase the corner really. sorry I'm going to un undo and unlink the radius 
and change it one by one. So I have 40 here, 40 at this side as well. Okay, grab my move tool and drop this layer beneath. So I have this layer under E game. Okay, and I'm going to grab this layer. I grab the test tool, sorry, and yeah, do that. Click the check mark and delete. I'm going to highlight this this test right here. Cut, click the check mark to confirm, and I'm going to paste right here. So click the check mark and head over to test properties. I'm going to uncheck italize, change the color for. So I'm going to copy this hexa code. So I have it right here. Change this to capital C. So I click the check mark to confirm. I grab my move tool and move it onto this shape. So we have this layer on top. Okay, control T and I transform. Okay, so we have it this way. Click the check mark to confirm. Control A and I align horizontally. So I grab the next test right here. Double click on this and it will open the test of this. I'm going to change the color for to white. Click OK. Click the check mark to confirm. I'm going to move it onto this layer. So I have I have to move the layer on top. So I have it right here in the shape. Grab my test tool and change this to capital A. This to capital G. Click the check mark. Sorry, I'm going to add a question mark. So click the check mark to confirm. I grab my move to Ctrl T and transform this. Okay. We drop this a bit. Ctrl T and I transform. Okay, so we have it this way. Click the check mark to confirm. I'm going to highlight these layers to the rectangle. Ctrl G to group them. So I have all this as one group, okay. Ctrl A, I align horizontally, it's already in the middle. So I have to file, place embedded, and select this item. Click the check mark to convert, convert this to a smart object. Ctrl T, and I transform this. Click the check mark to confirm. I'm going to move this group, this group up, okay. So I select this ball. Head over to our place embedded. And select this item. Click the check mark to confirm. Convert to smart object. Ctrl T to transform this. So I'm going to click the check mark to confirm. Ctrl T. I rotate this a bit. Ctrl T and I transform it again. Click the check mark. Head over to file place embedded. Select this item. Okay. So Ctrl T and I transform this. Flip horizontal. I transform a bit. So I'm going to rotate this. Okay, I adjust it and click the check mark to confirm. Click the check mark. Okay. I'm going to create a new layer right here, layer one. Grab my brush tool. Right click, right click and reduce the brush size, okay. 
So I'm going to make this bigger bit. Okay, with the right bracket key. Change the foreground color to black. And I'm going to press one right here. Grab my move tool. And I'm going to reduce this this way. Okay, so I transform this and rotate it. So I have it this way. Rotate it a bit. Click the checkbox to confirm. Reduce the opacity. Okay, to 92. That's okay. So I grab this Ctrl J and I duplicate. Select this layer, right click and flip horizontal. So I move it to the second, the next one. Click the check mark to confirm. So I have it this way. Select all these layers okay ctrl g and i group so we have this as group too i transform it a bit click the check mark to confirm ctrl a and i center horizontally in the middle ctrl d i did select so i move this group up so we have it right in the middle grab my rectangular tool my rectangle tool And do a rectangle shape right here. So I already have the color class black. Head over to Notepad and copy this text. So we move this up. Grab my text tool. Change the size to nine. The color for to white. Click OK. I'm changing the font. So I paste this right here. Click the check mark to confirm. Advert test properties and uncheck italize. Grab my move tool and put it right in the issues. So control A and I center the shape horizontally. I hold this test. I select this test out and drag to duplicate. So I'll copy this test right here. Highlight this test and paste it right here. Click the check mark to confirm. Grab my move to head over to test properties and I'm changing the tracking back to zero. So I have the size as 11. Ctrl A and I center horizontally. Ctrl D I select. So I grab this test. I move it a bit. I grab my rectangular tool. And draw a rectangle shape. A small one right here. Change the color of the white. All right. I'm going to grab this test. Alt and drag to duplicate. Grab my test tool and edit this to 12 p.m. So click the check mark to confirm. I grab my move tool and adjust it a bit. I'm going to select these three layers. Ctrl G and I group. Okay. So Ctrl A and center it horizontally. Select this rectangle and reduce it a bit. Okay. This is okay. Click the check mark. Sorry guys. Click the check mark. Ctrl A and center this horizontally. Ctrl D and click select. So I hold the rectangle out and drag to duplicate. I'm going to make it bigger.
So I'm going to extend this way. Click the check mark to confirm. Reduce the opacity. Okay, so we have it with. Alright. So head over to Notepad and copy this test. So we copy. I grab my test tool. Change the size to 6. Change the color food to this yellow. Okay. I click OK. And I'm going to paste right here. Click the check mark to confirm. Head over to test properties and change this to uppercase. Change the tracking back to zero. I grab my move tool and adjust this. So I'm going to adjust this a bit. Grab the rectangular tool. And draw a rectangle shape right over here. Change the color pool to white. Okay. So I'm going to zoom in and reduce this a bit. Click the check mark to confirm. So I hold Alt and drag. Alright. I want to duplicate this, so I hold Alt and drag to duplicate. Okay, so I move this to this way. Alright, so we have it here. I don't want to notify and copy this text. So I paste right here. Click the check mark to confirm. Cut. I highlight this cut. Click the check mark and I'm going to paste right here. Click the check mark. So I have the size as 14. So this system will be okay. Change the color for to white. Click OK. Grab my move tool and adjust this right here. So I move this a bit. Select this. Hold Alt and drag to duplicate. I grab my test tool and edit this to 40. Click the check mark to confirm. I grab my move tool. Hold Alt and drag to duplicate this. Grab my test tool and edit this to 2000. Click the check mark to confirm. So I have it this way. So I'm going to adjust this. Select this layer and move it a bit okay. Select this and move it a bit. Grab this and move it a bit. Okay. So I'm going to adjust this right here. And check uppercase. Adjust this right here. Hold Alt and drag to duplicate. Click the check mark to confirm. So I grab my test tool and edit this. So I hold Alt and drag to duplicate. Grab my test tool and edit this. So I grab this layer, put and drag to duplicate. 
grab my text tool and change the color full to white click ok so i highlight this and change it click the check mark to confirm hold alt and drag to duplicate this I'm going to select this layer and adjust this this way. Okay. Ctrl A and I have it right in the middle. Grab this ruler with this one. Okay. All these layers right here. Okay, Ctrl G and I group. So I have this as one group. Select the rectangle and group 4. And I group it. So I have this as a group as well. Grab my ball, Ctrl T, and I transform this. So click the check mark and adjust it a bit. Okay. So I have it right there. Alright guys, thanks for watching once again. See you in my next tutorial.